Hey guys, check out this roadmap from software developer to data engineer. It's a 12 weeks roadmap that I have created for you that will help you make that switch. Because you want to level up your skills, right? You don't just want to develop small pieces of code. You want to create full pipelines. You want to work on the cloud. You want to be ready for the future. Now, how do you do this? Let me show you. Now in that 12 weeks, start with platform and pipeline design and understand the different types of data stores. That is super important. What's a data platform? What are the typical tools you find there? What are data pipelines that you always see? Then I'll look into relational data modeling. You most likely already have some knowledge in relational data modeling, but working with a relational database and working with SQL is super important. Python for data engineers. Yes, you might already know Python but look into how we process data and what we're usually doing with the data, how we transform it and so on. That is important for you to know. SQL for data engineers is also something um, that you most likely know, but it's good to understand, okay, how are data engineers usually using SQL? What type of queries are we using to interact with data? Because that's our main focus, right? Then Docker fundamentals, look into how you can actually use Docker to package your code into an image that you then later deploy as a container and it basically runs everywhere without having to worry about the libraries that you need. Then I recommend a two week end to end project where you build an end to end pipeline and you get to know the cloud and you actually know how to deploy all of this above here. Then as a programmer, you need to know Spark. Spark is something where we're usually processing a lot of data and for parallel processing, Spark is the tool to use. And because of Spark, I also recommend looking into Databricks. Databricks is a super cool platform specifically for Spark. It's also available on Azure, for instance, uh, has a very good integration. So that's a good fit. And then dimensional data modeling, how to build a data warehouse and use an analytics data store. After that, I highly recommend working with time series data and Grafana as a user interface. So you can actually see your KPIs and monitor your pipelines in real time and find out how's the system actually behaving. And then the last week, my recommendation is look into Elasticsearch and how to analyze and store logs in Elasticsearch because you don't want to work with files and go through files. Yeah. And with that, that's a perfect fit for you. I have done this with many students in my data engineering academy and in my mentoring program where we help people make the switch. So I hope this helps you have fun and check it out. LearnDataEngineering.com.